Two days after the hostage drama began, the inmates gave up negotiating with the police and emerged from the cell block using their captives as human shields. Their leader, who'd armed himself with an automatic rifle, immediately began firing. Journalists scrambled for cover as the troops shot back. Two people died in the exchange, among them the convict's leader and a 16-year-old girl. With the failure of the escape attempt, the convicts began herding their terrified captives back inside, stopping just long enough to take the rifle from the dead man. The prisoner's only demand had been for a getaway car, but despite threats to kill all the hostages, including an Australian missionary, the police stood firm. With the bodies from the short battle still lying in the grounds, a second escape bid was made, this time by two hostages who literally ran for their lives towards police lines. The two were immediately caught in a swarm of journalists and police. They were the lucky ones. Five hours later, police would storm the prison, killing all the inmates, only to find the bodies of four hostages slain by their captors.